Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. Um, this time I'm going to show you how I uh, incorporated the, um, the two last paper bags that we have left over after we bind um, or adhesive together, glued together the other four that we have here from last time. Now we've got two left. And what you need to do with these two is um, one will serve as the last page and the other one will be the first page of your mini album. So um, the two chipboards that came with your kit, I've already gone ahead with these two. Um, um, and I like to choose the ones that are one-sided, the one-sided um, pages or the one-sided cardstock that I included in the kit. Um, to I chose those to be the ones that are, were going to be used for the front and the cover because then we wouldn't really feel so bad what that we um, covered the other side if it had a beautiful design on it. So, um, so this is the front and the cover. Um, the front and the cover. So this is the 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 front, the cover of your album, and this is the back part of your album. Over here, I've already glued it down. The, the papers that I'm, I'll be using and um, so now what I will be doing is I will be going ahead and um, putting adhesive also on if you can see that so I've already gone ahead and attached the adhesive on this and I'll be peeling that off and what I need to do is um, once I put the adhesive on you're going to try to find the middle part of the um, the front page here and so it's going to go this way well I want it to actually to go depending on okay so I want it to go this way so it's going to go in the middle and make sure that when you glue it down that you give yourself a little bit of a uh, Maybe like two millimeters of space from so glue it down all the way to the the edge. So find the center and then there. And then commit to it. Alright. The next one is gonna be for the back page. So I want it to be like that. Okay, the design that way. I've already gone ahead and put adhesive on here. And again, find the center part of the edge, I mean the corner over here. Don't put it all the way down, kind of eyeballing it. If you want, you can measure and then commit to it. So there you have it. So now what you're going to do, once you have all your pages, it should, once you've, um, I've included the um, O-rings to this album, so what you could do is you could use your um, crocodile to bind them together. You're going to need to do that because you're going to be including your Mad Hatter on here. So um, your Mad Hatter will either go in this page right in between these two or it can go in the back wherever you want it to go and you're also going to um, use your crocodile to punch the holes on your Mad Hatter once it's once it's finished okay all right thank you for watching bye bye